Today, the Office of State Procurement issued a request for proposals to secure new voting equipment for our state. I'm excited to begin this process of bringing the best voting technology to Louisiana and continuing our tradition of delivering safe, secure, accurate, and transparent elections. Last year, the COVID-19 pandemic required us to delay spring elections until the summer and the strain of multiple tropical storms and hurricanes during the presidential election culminated in us delaying the release of this RFP until now. We are exhaustively following all state purchasing laws and because this RFP is now public, the agency is now in what is known as a blackout period, meaning neither I nor my staff can have any contact with any bidder or potential bidder except as specifically provided for in the RFP. Additionally, I am prevented from discussing any specific bidder or potential bidder so that no comment may be misunderstood or taken to indicate any bias for or against any potential bidder, thus having a fair and equitable bid process. All qualified and certified bidders who submit proposals will have their proposals evaluated in accordance with the terms of the RFP and our state's procurement code. Our current voting machines have long served the voters of Louisiana without major incident, but the lifespan of the machines is near their end. Thus, it is prudent to procure new voting equipment at this time. This RFP allows Louisiana to continue our tradition and overwhelming preference of in-person voting. It also preserves Louisiana's leadership in elections nationwide by continuing our accurate and timely reporting of election results on election night. Here are a few of the election integrity measures we have included in this RFP. First, a VVPAT system, a voter verifiable paper audit trail, provides voters with the peace of mind that their vote is recorded accurately by allowing them to verify their vote on paper before casting their vote electronically on a voting machine. This feature will also enhance the audits of the state election system, thereby maintaining the accuracy of Louisiana elections. Second, an important security measure requires proposers to disclose background checks and security training protocols for all employees who would be working on this project. This requirement is a security measure to prevent nefarious individuals from coming into contact with Louisiana's election system. Third, any and all bidders will be required to disclose any foreign ownership so that we know with whom we may be doing business. Fourth, the proposer must disclose all countries in which their election system and equipment is used. Additionally, any proposer will be required to disclose their corporate structure and ownership, including all board members, any entity with more than 10% ownership in the organization, and any ownership in the company by foreign persons or entities. And fifth, a contractor agrees not to use any of the monies from this contract for political purposes. Finally, the proposed contractors for any voting system shall meet all relevant requirements of the Louisiana Election Code, the Help America Vote Act, the Louisiana Procurement Code, and Information Technology Procurement Code and any other relevant laws. This is an exciting time for our state. We had a very successful, fair, accurate, safe, and transparent election last November and December, but we cannot rest on our laurels. It is financially and operationally prudent to procure new voting equipment so that voters continue to have confidence in their election infrastructure. Louisiana has the opportunity to not only maintain but to enhance our national reputation of election integrity by seeking the most secure and transparent voting technology for you, the voters of our great state. Thanks for tuning in. God bless, and God bless the great state of Louisiana.